In this lesson, we're going to explore the benefits and usage of the Azure Marketplace. And exactly as the name implies, this is a place we can go in Azure where various offerings are available that we can use in our subscriptions. These might be from Microsoft, i.e. first party, or they can actually be from third party suppliers. These are often things like virtual machines that are pre-configured with their software to make virtual appliances, but it may also include things like load balance, the balance between them, or much more. This is probably easiest to just go and look at this in action. So here, from the Azure portal, I've just gone to create a resource, and straight away it's showing some popular products, and I can see more in the marketplace. So it's showing me the Azure marketplace, and I can search for anything I wanted. Maybe I wanted something about VPN. And straight away it's showing me some kind of VPN options that are available. And we can see there, based on virtual machines, from here, but it's gonna get pre-configured with, in this example, the Soft Ether VPN. But there are ones from different providers. And what we'll see is also there are the software plans. So there's an underlying Azure resource that you'll obviously pay for, in this case a VM, but also this is pay-as-you-go licensing. So they're gonna bill you for the license as part of the Azure charge. Some of them, it might be bring your own license. It doesn't charge you through Azure, but you have to configure your own licensing. If we reset that, go back to our kind of uh, marketplace again, let's close that off. We can see there are really services around all different types of things. I could look at things around compute. This is gonna focus around different types of operating system. I could run within virtual machines, but also maybe different run times and even application stacks. For example, we saw there's LAMP. So it's a very common stack that we see on top of Linux. I can browse and I could see things around well, security. Here there are different solutions. Now some of them are SaaS, some of them are managed services, some of them are applications, some of them are virtual machines. So we have these different types of resource that I can deploy and use as part of my all up solution. It's even possible as a company to establish a private marketplace. So here I might not want my company directly accessing things from the marketplace. Instead, I can establish a private marketplace. And then the only things the people in my company would see are things published by Microsoft and the things that I have approved from third parties that will show up as well. But the key point of this is really just a place we can go to see offerings that third parties have integrated into the marketplace to make it easier for us as the customers to deploy.